I told you guys. I told you guys. And I told you guys. The roster is not 164. It's not. And I'm, I'm going to stand on that fact till this game comes out. If you clicked on this video, you're probably thinking, bullshit. There's no way it's, it's more than 164. They already showed us the panels. So how is there more characters? Nobody said nothing. So where are you getting this information from? There's even a Reddit that I posted my video on and somebody even stated, uh, your video is not proof, it's speculation. Wrong. I'm gonna tell you how it's proof from a little theory called process of elimination. I do have um, other videos going over why the roster isn't 164, but this, we got more information with the new trailers that's been um, dropping and I don't wanna like cover every keen detail about this game. For one, it ruins the hype. Two, I wanna see that shit like brand new when we play it the main thing that i like covering is i like when the company is like showing us their their trails because then once you catch on to their patterns you guys don't even have to wait on the company you can legit predict the future of certain games like that's how if you look at mortal kombat 1 bro that the spoilers were already there before the aftermath dlc is coming out so same thing with Dragon Ball. If you guys are diehard Dragon Ball um, Tenkaichi fans, you guys are probably already seeing the patterns. But I wanted to go over why the roster isn't 164 and how this recent trailer showed that they f***ed up. The, the trailers and the, the visuals and the um, the developer statements are not lining up with 164. I'm sorry. If you, if you still believe the roster is 164, just... You don't know Tenkaichi, bro. This game with the recent trailer has showcased so much information, especially if you have been like out the loop of Dragon Ball, because this game legit is showing little keen details. For example, look, that little explosion ball right there. You click L2, I think L1, R1, R2, something like that, with both the triggers, and you sacrifice a little bit of HP to kind of reflect, just reflect whatever you're in. If you believe it's 164, then they already showed more than 100 characters in this game. Two-thirds of the roster is already on there. There's more videos uh, related to this, especially when they drop new trailers that I'll be uploading, as well as um, I know if you guys follow me for Warframe, I got one coming for you guys. I did not forget about Warframe, I promise. But I did give you guys that warning that when this game comes out, Warframe is going to be questionable. But don't worry, I have the Warframe content coming out for you guys. We have two months left before the release of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And these trailers have not only um, obtained a theme so we can kind of predict the future trailer, but they're also showcasing newer characters that are filling up the roster even more. And you can already assume that if there's so many missing slots left, who who is left that can fill up the roster? I want to show you guys the ending of this trailer, right? I'm covering it a little bit here. Let's see. Look at this. You see this? I don't don't count the missing slots. I already did it for you. There is so by the end of this trailer, they already confirmed a uh, hundred and eighteen characters. And if you believe that the roster is one sixty four, that leaves about forty six slots. Not even including the other sagas that we didn't even go over yet. We have two months left, so we can assume that in August we're going to get one of these saga trailers, maybe paired with something. I'm assuming Android and the Cell Saga. I feel like they want to do like some sort of uh, uh, combo combination, you know, with uh, two arcs. Like you'll have the sub arc and then the main arc. And then um, Android, yeah, the Android and the Cell arc, I feel like can be paired together because it kind of is close. So yeah, for August, we're going to get the Android and Cell Saga trailers that I'm assuming. I think they already have the jump scans available that you can already see with some of the teasers that they're going to have. And I think they're going to save September for the Boo Saga. It's kind of weird to like think about how they compare the Boo Saga because I feel like they need another pair. The only thing I can think of is movies. So like Boo Saga and then just side movies that, you know, characters are going to be in the game with. And I'm going to explain that later on. But um, I think they're also saving characters for surprise. Like when you played the older Tenkaichi 3 series, those characters, like I said earlier, um, that you can unlock from doing the Shinron wishes, like level the hardest difficulty on certain tournaments. So you have to make sure you kept refreshing the timer to make it in different tournament modes. And um, yeah, those like a lot of different gimmicks that you needed to do in order to get these like characters that were hidden behind 
the game features and i think that's awesome because why i'm tired of games showing their whole character roster like you guys are killing the hype i get i get it a company's trying to make money but at the same time bro like don't show me all my christmas presents in september we're going to have the boo saga with maybe some like movie iterations to help in fill in the blanks because in the first character that we got we had a reveal of 15 new characters right so I started thinking, how many characters can they show with this limited 46 slots left? The reason why I'm saying that is because with this first trailer, I'm trying to mute it. With this first trailer that you've seen right here, uh, you can see the main new changes. And if you play Tenkaichi, the main new changes was this shit. This shit was revolutionary, right? We never seen uh, Frieza transform as close to the anime as possible. It was always some like cheap gimmick white flashy explosion and he's in his new form or some egg the egg one was kind of hard but this is good that i feel like that's why they really wanted to showcase this uh frieza as the main villain of this whole trailer so for the next trailer you can assume that cell is going to be the main villain of that focus you know for that trailer and then for the the one in september of course is going to be boo and you know kid boo for sure but the thing is what makes these special is that the, now we're getting into the villains and they're not diff, they're not like saiyans right where they just charge up in yellow hair they're unique creatures these villains are very unique it's going to be revolutionary for the cell one because we're going to see an updated form of when where are you mm -hmm. i just want to play this for you guys Sorry. it's an updated form of this like all right so now we're going to see how this is going to look like in whatever you know it's just going to be weird like how are they going to explain is it just going to be like this they're going to look and then android 18 or 17 is just going to be chilling there and then what is this yeah this might look like frieza's when when frieza turned into his final form it kind of reverted to just that white flash right right there so i feel like cell would do the same thing to his perfect form right he's not going to like kill trunks and absorb goku and all that stuff but the the special thing for the boo trailer that we're going to get is also seeing the animation changes when super boo absorbs people right like when he takes go tanks um he also took uh you know ultimate gohan so seeing these like unique animations is going to be revolutionary when we see this in the next trailers. So that's why they're splitting it into these two arcs. And we have two months left, so it's perfect, right? Um, October, of course, is the day it releases. So you know for sure we're just going to get hella promotion. Hella promotion. And you guys already know that in October, they're also releasing the bonus character. So we're going to see the character. Uh, we're gonna know who the bonus character is in October. I think on October 5th. They said sometime before the release of the of the game. But I also have a theory on who that bonus character is. Now in my last video, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it later. I'm gonna go off tangent if I talk about it now. Now let me show you. What if I told you that I knew each character, each new character that they're gonna show in both of these new trailers? So I made this for you guys, right? this right here is the roster now from the company um at the end of the trailers they show this roster so this is like all of the confirmed characters that the company gave us but we know more than that so if i go over to this boom i want to show you guys something that i made each of these segments showcases uh a section for the trailers that we these are all the characters that were shown in the namek and saiyan saga trailer but these were like the new characters now some of them i did add when we go over to the next sections I, i'll explain why but it's because they're going to show them anyway right like i could have put raditz here i could have placed uh goku vegeta scouter but i didn't want you guys to really pay attention to characters they already shown and confuse you i really want to highlight the newer characters so right here is 15 new characters which brought the confirmed roster to 118. Now, we have the characters that they're gonna show us in this next trailer, in, in this month for August. The Cell and Android Saga, I feel like, is what they're gonna call it. But we're gonna get new characters shown, like Semi or Imperfect Cell, Semi-Perfect Cell. Um, we already know about Perfect Cell, and then we already know Super Perfect Cell 
has to be in the game. Cell Jr. has to be in the game. Android 17 was already kind of revealed on the jump scans. Android 18 Z was also revealed as well. Uh, Android 16 for sure going to be on there. And then we're going to finally see Teen Gohan get his work shining in the new animations. Um, I know they already revealed uh, Sword Trunks and Ultimate Gohan or Future Gohan, but I placed them here just because I want to show you guys that they're going to have them in the trailer. So there's going to be more characters revealed in the trailer, revealed or showcased, but not necessarily all of them are going to be new. But I feel like for the Cell and the Android Saga trailer, they're going to have uh, King Cold and Mecha Frieza for sure because that was taking place when Future Trunks first popped up to tell Goku You're going to get an additional nine new characters from this trailer Nine new characters like I'm not even lying to you guys like please take I'm don't don't take this with a grain of salt I want you to take that whole fucking Himalayan container and just cook some Wagyu steak because like this is legit like they're showing us they're legit telling us what they're going to do like i i don't know how this isn't obvious anymore but for the boo saga trailer and maybe the movie saga trailer um i didn't have any movie characters shown here but i'm gonna have them explain later in this video uh who's going to be in it from the movies but for this trailer i think they're going to really showcase just the boo arc for sure we're going to get super boo boo go tanks um boo gohan and then Kid Buu, then we have the Go Tanks lineup that they already showcased, but for sure they're going to be in the trailer just because, you know, he fights him. Evil Buu, uh, Ultimate Gohan's finally going to get that reveal. Uh, Babidi, Supreme Kai, and Kabuto Kai. Yeah. These are all the characters that I think they're going to showcase for the Buu uh, trailer when we get it in September. Now, this is also an additional nine characters, right? Four up top, four on bottom, four, one in the middle, nine. You got one, one right here, nine. Now, this was 15, right? Um, oh, that's what's throwing me off, bro. What the fuck? I can guarantee you my boy Oob is going to be in this bitch. I'm sorry if I lost you guys, but watch, watch, follow me. So, look, we're getting 15 from here. Which brought the roster to 118. We're going to get 11 new characters from here. Which brings the roster to 129. And then we're getting 10 characters from here. Because if we're getting Z variants, right? We have to have Goku Z go all the way through. The end of Goku Z legit met Oob. Like, that was the tournament. It was Oob. So, Oob is viable. Maybe not Majub right now, but Oob for sure is viable to be on this roster. So, that is going to be... That brings the roster to 139. How much spots do we have left after all of these characters were revealed? So, by the end of September, there should be 25 slots left on this roster, right? 25 slots. Who could, who could fill up those slots, you might ask, right? I need him to focus. Well, this is oh, what yeah. it takes. Suck it up, or do they only make wimps in your backwoods village? <gasps> I hope you weren't dumb enough to fall for my nice guy routine back there. That's an act I put on around my Bro, family. Bro, Goku Z, this was Goku Z Prime right here. Yeah, yeah, this dude was roasting his family. Like, yeah, Oob has to be on this roster for sure. If you guys don't believe Oob is on there, you're, you're what President Rose say, you're delusional. With 25 remaining slots left at the end of September, let me tell you... Who is going to take up these 25 slots? And it's funny because you can count them with me and watch. It's going to legit take up those exact 25 slots. Great Ape Gohan. Demon King Piccolo. Great Ape Nappa. Grandpa Gohan. Great Ape Bardock. Kid Chi Chi. Great Ape Raditz. General Blue. Kid Goku. Kid Goku Great Ape. Android 8. Kaba, Tao, Kaba, Super Saiyan 1, Valdos, Champa, Magetta, Brawly Z, Brawly Z, Super Saiyan, and Brawly Z, Legend, Janemba, Pilaf, Fused, Tapion, and Harutagon. Before 25. Now, I didn't put Gogeta Z in this 
prediction because for the Janemba. It's weird because Gogeta Z variant is different from the Gogeta Super, so it might just be a costume. But then they said Gogeta Super, so it's like we already know at this point if they say Super, there there's a Z variant, right? There's another variant to them, but I don't think Vegito has one, right? So I'm thinking, what if they're going to just use that Gogeta for the Janemba? Because honestly, they do have Stardust Breaker, but look it. That's 25 characters, right? We also have the bonus character thrown in there, but they are just promoting characters for that. For whatever you guys see right here, bro, stop. Like, I at the, at the end of my video, I no longer want to hear this as the roster. Do not use this as the roster or it's referencing the roster. This is only referencing the people they are giving the trailer spotlights to, to be honest. And what the fuck are these, bro? This section is going to be OG. This section is going to be movies. This section is going to be GT. And that section over there is going to be, uh, so it's going to include like Dima, Heroes, anything they want to do. But it could, I don't know, I'm just talking. That last section that I was talking about, I'm just speculating. But the truth, though, this is not the roster. This is not de uh, depict how many characters is going to be in the roster. So, no, do not see this as the limit of how many characters can be in this game. Because it will stunt your expectations. It could lead your expectations too high. But at the same time, you know, like, it doesn't mean that, like, oh, because Android... 17 Z is in the game. He's taking up that that remaining spot out of the 164 like bro 164 is not the limit They're like this this story mode will cover everything from Z to super But at the same time they had their marketing manager confirm that OG Dragon Ball is in the game, right? And it's funny how how do we know the the number limitations of the DLC? But we don't even know the number limitations of the base game like why are they going to tell us how many characters is in their DLC? But not in the, the original roster because I feel like there's something that they want hidden. There's something that they they haven't shown us yet. I'm trying to figure out how to say this, right? Like if they are explaining that their game is focusing on the story from Z to Super. So from Goku fighting Raditz all the way to the Tournament of Power arc. And they're going to say that OG Dragon Ball is in. That's the what ifs. Like you know how you beat Tenkaichi 3 story mode? There's other like story segments that you can do if og is on this if they confirmed og characters and i mean not just confirmed i mean they said the red ribbon army that means that gt cannot be counted out as well right even even though they only said the story was covering z to super og is on there so at the same time bro every all the characters that i told you guys you know, when I went down that list with uh the, with the remaining 25 slots, I don't even still feel like there's enough super representation for this to be a Tenkaichi game revolving around super. Like, yes, we're getting the DLC with Diamond and Super Heroes, but I'm talking about like you guys even hear me say Topo, God of Destruction, right? Like you, you can tell they want to incorporate a lot of super characters in this game base roster wise because they they're going to have the Tournament of Power um, being covered. And then with the Tournament of Power, you know, we have Rebrian. We have characters like Annie Laza. So you can already see the uniqueness that they're trying to pull from that the tournament roster, right? They want to, uh, you can see that they want to dip their fingers into these unique characters that never had a representation in the Dragon Ball Z game yet. So I also feel like there's not even enough super res representation for this game to be even a super game. Like, yes, we have the key uh universe six warriors and then the main villain the main strong warriors of the tournament of power but we don't even have topo god of destruction there's also some other characters on my roster video if you guys want to check it out that i also feel like should be in the base roster and they come from the tournament of power like they represent other universes so i feel like they can even you know they have they have so much on the line that they can fumble if they limit it to 164 that's and i don't think they're going to take that big of an l even if there's like a new generation of gaming where micro microtransactions is key for a successful business for especially for gaming um for a game's life you know some games are just built different uh Baldur's gate 3 uh elden ring you, you don't think sparking zero wants to be on that in that group like no nobody from this company confirmed 164 
What's the deal with no night stages, bro? There's not one stage you've seen at nighttime unless people went into that sparking mode when you charged all the way up. But there's a reason why we have no night stages yet, and it's because of the great apes. They're going to showcase the transformations. Right now, we're seeing the amazing transformation with Frieza. We're going to see it with Cell. We're going to see it with the Super Boos. We're going to see it with great apes as well, you know, when they look at the moon and whatnot. I feel like that's even when they told Afro Sinju, Afro Sinju when he went out to Evo or Anime Expo, they told him that they can't really speak too much on Kid Gohan. Why would they say that? One thing before I close out the video that I wanted to just quickly go over is that they are really keeping the elemental aspect of Dragon Ball Tenkaichi true to the series. I wanted to unmute this because when I heard this scene from... I mean, even from Napa, right? Right? Then look at this one, I guess. I think it was with Zarbon. Pay attention to the dialogue. So, you can see that the, the dialogue was ruthless in the Budokai Tenkaichi series. Like, people were talking about, I'll kill you, I'll destroy you. I don't even know if I can say this on, on YouTube. But they were ruthless, bro. Like, they made you, they reminded you that Dragon Ball Z wasn't no kid, wasn't no kid show, right? They were like, people were dying, people were getting their arms punched off. Like, this game was ruthless. And with the gun punches and the trips and all the combos that we're getting, the dialogue was key to making the the Dragon Ball immersion real. And I'm so glad that they're keeping true to this voice acting. So shout out to all the VAs that put in hard work on this game. Another thing too before is that a lot of people were mad, right, about this part. They were mad because if you looked at the Tenkaichi 3 uh, version of that ultimate, you actually seen Frieza's horn go through Krillin's body stabbed him right there oh that hurt yeah Krillin I'm sorry bro there was a reason Goku went fucking super saint all right this is very like old footage but it's it's struggling to just find a freaking clip of this ultimate unless I pull it up on the game but it's called hell Frieza he kicks him up stabs him yoink 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 and fling him off and then blast him right now before you say or give any hate to this that move that like we seen as an ultimate does not look like what he did for one look it there's already an explosion behind him so i don't think we've seen the full the full cinematic right he's dashing why is there so much dust and it's not just from him trans like transforming right with each transformation i become far more clear yeah, that, that has to be another cutscene that we didn't see from this move that probably would make this right here irrelevant. Like, I'll be like, all right, I don't give a fuck that we don't see this because he probably did some crazy shit before that. And if it's not like that, then what if they just they tweaked it, right? Like this skill looks too quick. It doesn't even look like an ultimate anymore. It just looks like maybe a quick rush attack that they gave second form Freezer. So maybe that's why it's less gruesome. They did try to do some, some, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I mean, hey, it looks nice. It looks nice. I'm not really mad about it, but the explosion was hella dramatic and his body is just still looking like it's falling. Like they need to fix that. And then I also, when I play Tenkaichi 3, the CPU does this little lagging thing where it's like flying rapidly, like doing this. There's some demo footage of the CPU doing exactly that. And I can guarantee you that they're using the same coding for their CPUs for this game. And if that's true, then you can always, you can like, it's, just, it's like a good sign to see that they are really bringing the skeletons of this older game that we love so much onto this, the new graphical engine, right? We still have other modes that they can give us. Like there's a tournament mode for sure in this game. There might be the tournament of power uh, edition that they're gonna add, or even the universe six tournament. So there's more tournaments that is going to be in the tournament mode. 
I say that because there's different tournaments that you can uh, attend at different times and uh, beating them at certain, certain difficulties depending on the time would reward you with things like Dragon Balls and Z items. We haven't even seen all the Z items. We haven't seen all the customizable things you can really do for the uh, what if section. Just seeing the UI HUD, we haven't seen any of that, the title menu. So um, yeah, that's, the, that's more information that they can release during these upcoming two months that you guys can be expecting. Uh, Z items are also important because you can see like customizable things like different auras, uh, halos, uh, Patara in, uh, earrings, and you know characters that can't fly like Yajirobe. You can make him fly normally, so it can make him fight better. Or you can give characters more uh, lives or stocks for their HP so that they can be uh, survivable. And it's just it's just a whole fun customizable thing that we can do with that section. So I'm excited to see how they're going to bring that reiteration onto this game. And then on top of that, I want you guys to pay attention really closely, right? Please pay attention because Dragon Ball is doing something sneaky, very sneaky. And I'm catching the connections. We have different games like Xenoverse to satisfy the RPG element, Kakarot to satisfy the story mode element and Tenkaichi to satisfy the battle element the battle element we do have dragon ball legends and dokkan to satisfy that mobile aspect and they stated that they want to keep these different sections and styles of their game like they're going to support all of them because they support a different aspect of how you play dragon ball just like how we now we got cards fusion or world fusion or something like that where it's the cards the uh, tcg version of dragon ball so now they want to support each of these sections, right? But Xenoverse has been bleeding into other of these sections. Xenoverse already bleeds into, or I would just say Dragon Ball Heroes already bleed into the mobile aspect. It bleeds into the story mode aspect. You see Mira and Toa and Kakarot. So who's to say, who's to say it's not going to bleed into, oh yeah, also fighters is for the competitive, you know, 2D fighting aspect. but. Who's to say that Daima, which is canon, is going to connect this shit? Look at Goku Daima. So yeah, look at Goku Daima. I'll zoom it in on the edited video. But this dude, you want me, to, want me to show you who he looks like? He got, look at the backpack. Look at the back bling. Want me to show you who he looks like? There's a guy in uh, Dragon Ball Heroes called Zeno Goku, right? Zeno Goku. Zeno goku the god of dragon ball is called what zeno i don't think that's a coincidence bro xenoverse i don't think that's a coincidence bro what is xenoverse about i don't know maybe it's about uh mira and toa having a freaking baby who's that baby foo this dude is the successor that Deborah thinks is, you know, for the, the, the new Demon King. We killed Deborah. So what is Daima about? Daima is about... There's instability in the Demon Realm because there's no Demon King. And now there's someone fighting for that new spot, right? But there's like a malicious opponent as well fighting for it. Oh, they're going hard with this art. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this diamond art. I'm trying to find some of the villains so you guys can see, uh, so you guys can see the Demon King because that's like for real what the the plot of the story is. Daima is covering the the Demon Realm stuff. This dude, you see that thing on his back? Look at Zeno Goku. Got that thing on his back. Now, what does Zeno Goku know that Goku Super doesn't know? <laughs> Super Saiyan 4. Is, are we is Zeno Goku the bonus character? Is are we getting Zeno Goku? One one reason that I can quickly debunk this is that Zeno Goku can transform into Super Saiyan 4. So as a bonus character, the way that they're doing characters, they would need to show like multiple forms for that character. So if we're getting Zeno Goku, it's just going to be this base one. But this can be a costume. This can also be Fu. In my last video, I predicted um I predicted that it was 
Fu. But another candidate that's also closely like that can be on, on this roster is the Supreme Kai of Time. And you guys can't see it because my webcam. But yeah, she they made her playable in Xenoverse for a reason. So I also feel like she is a strong candidate to be that bonus character. So I don't want to say all of these bonus character predictions and then when it comes out, I'll be like, I told you so. So I'm going to I'm going to tell you now, Xeno Goku, Fu or Supreme Kai of Time. Those are those are the three for sure bonus characters that I'm putting on this list because there's no other explanation. And all of those characters can be individual characters. So look at these characters one more time when you go to Daima. There's two characters in Daima that they revealed recently that looks just like uh, Mira and Toa, by the way. If you want to see it, it's in my previous video, but let me see. I'm going to just type Daima. Man, why they, they just show the silhouette. They might as well just show the thing, bro. But that's them, yeah. They're just like real hush hush. Well, here's a picture of the boy, right? You guys can't see it. It's right here. Motherfucker looks just like this dude, bro. And his sidekick is like a little girl with little pigtails. That's going to be Mira for sure. They're doing something. They're doing something sneaky. And it's it's looking like there's a lot of relations to like Xenoverse being over. Some guy in my in my in my first video that I did that I did about this was like I might see Timebreaker Bardock. And I don't think he's going to be in this game, but I think story-wise for Dragon Ball, he has a high chance probably merging with the canon, you know, timeline. So I just wanted to throw that in there as a cherry on top to this video. Uh, I did promise you guys my reaction. Um, I'm actually just going to upload that as a separate video on my channel. So if you guys want to see that, just be wary of that video dropping. But that's it for today. Um, yeah. It's not 164. I've been uh, yapping for too long. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like always, be safe. Keep up the grind. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Over.